Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Shino. So we are going to be working on something today. Should be pretty fun. Um, so one of the uh, items that we have from uh, Stone Quarry, uh, where we get the uh, rebel chest from, is the option of using plugs, uh, uh, feather and plugs in stone. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm trying to remember, I think I got to go I think I gotta go. How many ladders I do? So let's see if we can do this like this and see. We're gonna go up three, so that's one, two, three. So I need to clear this row right here out. So what this will allow us to do is instead of removing the stone uh, as we traditionally do, you know, every other one. Uh, this is going to allow us to take large blocks of stone out at once. So let's see if I can just drop this in right back here. And then hit. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Sink them all the way in. And voila. We go so what we've done now let me get these plugs picked back up is we've created a new unique item in the game which is this assault slab let me set this up over here for a second so we can take a look at it uh let's see can i put it here i can so there you can see it says it contains 24 basalt blocks in it now i can um use uh several different uh, chisels uh, I can and by doing that I can make cut stones bricks uh, rock or the polished rocks uh, so this is kind of a neat little thing but it's a nice little it's a smaller unit so that's 24 blocks in that one and uh, let's see we can probably do some more here so we're gonna come in now and I'm going to put them in here, here. Well, let me, yeah. And then I'm going to come down this way here. So I don't need to use uh, the exact, you know, a six by six. Uh, I can use it just like this. Oops. There we go. And we should now get. the block out of there now as you're seeing we're not getting the ore and I wanted to kind of show that so if you are clearing out an area and there's ore in it uh, you're not going to be getting the ore out of there as well so pretty neat and it doesn't look like we're actually getting a mixed stone with this either and I thought we could let's do this one here and this one may not because it didn't register the right orientation so Let's get these back. Let's try this one more time here. Oops. Come on up, nice and slow. Let's put one in this way. There it goes. Hmm. I will right, give it a shot and see what happens here. Yeah, see, it's not going to work on this one. This one will, I bet you. Yeah, see? There we go. And let's see, items we got on this one. We've got, now we've got, that one's got three periodot on it. And this one also has three basalt. So, anyways, pretty cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to work on this area. I'm going to gather up a bunch of stone, uh, fill up our stone quarry, and then I'll head back. And uh, hopefully you might be able to find some ore while I'm in here doing this also. So we'll find out. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're back at the house. So I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but, you know, we did get quite a bit. Uh, and it has snowed a lot. It's been snowing and the temperature is negative seven and it's winter. And 
and it's not fun out there. It's really not. Um, came in and I was frozen, so I had to heat myself up, but was able to kill a little bit, do a little hunting on the way back through, so I do have some more meat here. So we're not going to starve. Doing all right. So let's take a look at these things that we've got here. Let's see. We've got... Uh, I've got these two here. This one here. I've got more there just in the chest. I'll have to pull them back out here, but I just want to lay these down here so we can get a look at them. Here we go. So there's six basalt, 26 periodot, uh, 27 periodot in that one. So these, um, during the live stream, I made the tools that we need. So let's grab these tools. We can take a quick peek here what we get so with the rough cut chisel uh, we can hold and right click and you see there we're getting the full blocks off of it see it's getting full blocks off of that one we can use the finishing chisel we can hit it and you see now we're getting the um, polished stones off of it and then if we use the wedge and we hit it you can see now we're getting the bricks in regular vintage story to get to the point where you have the stone bricks you have to use the chisel you know you have to go out and mine the full rock first then you'd have to use the chisel uh, to get it to polish stone then you'd have to use the chisel again to get it to the stone bricks so this is going to save us a little bit of time here we can get right into right into bricks pretty quick and easy and then the other thing that we can do with this get these back up So I'm going to take this rubble, rubble hammer. We're going to hit it, and there you see we're getting the stones off of it now, just the regular stones. Okay? And we can now put those stones into our rubble storage. There we go. And I don't think, I think we tried this before. We can't do this, right? Yep, no, we can't do that. So to get those back out, of course, you'd have to break them back down. So, Okay. But there we go. So that's going to be a way of getting us uh, a lot of stone a little bit quicker. Um, and what's nice is we're going to be able to save a couple of steps on this. So I talked about this in the last episode that I thought, you know, either we want to get some uh, smooth stones out of this or we want to get the um, polished stones out of this. So. I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. We're just going to go ahead and do that right into polished stones. And it's not showing anything else there. So I'll... That's interesting. So that should... It says there's one basalt left on it. It's not coming off of there, is it? There we go. There we go, six polished stones now. So now we can come in, we can start filling this area in with our polished stones. Cool. All right, and then for what we've been working on over here, uh, then we're still going to be able to smash this stuff down and be able to fill these in. So let's take a look and see. It's, you know, it's not doing too bad. It's really not. I mean, it's it could be better, but considering that we've it, we're getting a lot more zinc this way, um, than we were before. That's basalt. Oh, and that's shale. Okay. Uh, but considering that we weren't uh, getting hardly any, now we're getting some. So that's good. All right. And I checked on it before I came in. It's still pretty full out there. So two more. Two more sphalerite. It's really been getting a lot of copper. That's that's the one thing I've been getting more of than anything else is the copper, um, which has actually been really good. Um, I did find some copper while I was out mining uh, after the live stream. Uh, found some copper, and I did find a little more tin, but not a whole lot. This, ores have been really hard to find um, in this. So kind of curious how this is going to progress for us. Okay. All right. Let me get some stuff picked up and we'll go on to the next part of the episode. All right. I'm back. Uh, so I'm what I'm going to do here then is 
finish these off. Let's see, there's 24 in that one. There's five in that one. There we go. So that one cleared out okay. I just didn't want to. Uh, three in this one. That one's still holding one in there. 16 in this one. There we go. So now I should be able to go through and start replacing. Do I have a shovel on me? I do. And I should be able to go through here and start replacing. I'll we'll start here in the kitchen because I'm cold. There. In there. Very nice. We're back. So then I ran until I ran out of blocks. I mean, I can get some more over here, but that's what I had in my inventory. So not bad. Not bad. And I also took care of some more leather. And I want to make another backpack. So what I did in here, you'll see, um, I added in a couple barrels over here. So I've got, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of rye whiskey, uh, rye ale, uh, getting ready because I need to make the uh, Aqua Vita because I want to make some potions that are a little bit stronger. So, got to get that going. I uh, added in a couple more barrels. And it looks like we're moving some stuff along here pretty good. That's weak tannin. That's strong tannin. And that is strong tannin. But, we got 12 more pieces of leather. So you know what that means. That means it is time to make some backpacks. Let's see, if I recall, I need for these backpacks four, five, six, seven, eight, so I can make one. Ah, I'm one short. One short. That's all right. We'll get one made. And we're going to need the. Let's see what else we're going to need. We're going to need the knife. And, oh, do I have enough flax? Do I have enough flax? Probably going to be in this one. Oh, yes, I do. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to need two of those. Okay. Eight of those and the knife and then the copper bits. I know I don't have any copper bits, but we know how to get those. Those need our chisel. And we're going to take an ingot. Put that right there. And that will give us what we need. So, now let's take... Oops. Like that. And we need the string on top and copper bits and a knife and our second backpack. Cool. So let's see which one we're going to empty out there. See, spear sets this area right here. Let's pull these down. Empty. That one's empty. That one's full. There we go. More inventory space. Awesome. And is this, I think I looked at this. Can we recover these? We cannot. But we can sell these. So we definitely don't want to get rid of them just yet. So put them in there. Okay. Hey, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Again, we've been. Working with the stone blocks, uh, stone quarry mod, uh, wanting to get enough stuff. Look at that, three more sphalerite. Going good, going good. Okay. All right, folks, that's going to do it. This is Shino, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care.